Hello everyone, welcome back to the Dragon Den. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. This is uh, episode 16 in the Breath of the Wild series. In the last episode, we freed Divine Beast Varudanya, which is right up there perching on the volcano. And we got Daruk's ability, Daruk's protection with three charges. But, last episode aside, this episode we are going to be uh, searching for the Sword That Seals of Darkness, which apparently lies in a uh, forest. Boss, uh, the leader of uh, Goron City, or I guess basically their chief, uh, told us that uh, the Sword That Seals of Darkness is in a forest. And I'm guessing with the uh, Sword That Seals of Darkness, uh, He's talking about the Master Sword, which is a pretty prominent item that's in basically every single Legend of Zelda game. So, let's go to Elden Tower for a good vantage point. And, now that we're up at the tower here... We can look around for a forest that I'm guessing would stand out. It uh, would probably... Well, I'm guessing it would stand out if it's a special forest with uh, the Master Sword in it. I'm not 100% sure if it's the Master Sword, but I'm just gonna call it that anyway. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, or maybe I'll end up getting it this episode and uh, correct myself. And since we're going to be uh, back on the normal journey, I'm going to get every single shrine I can. More hearts, the better. Speaking of shrines, I was getting a signal. Oh, over there. We can just get that real quick. get over here but now we have that charm and I can uh, see since I'm over here now there are metal boxes here that are probably ow that did a lot of damage how about we just teleport back to Odin Tower so we don't have to deal with them and we are out of the path of danger It's kind of OP how you can just, uh, instantly teleport out of any dangerous case scenario with no effort, really. You just need to click a few buttons. But now, how about we hop into a full-blown time-lapse of me looking around for a, uh, well, for a that stands out, I guess.
Ooh, while r waiting here at this uh, shrine for it to stop raining so I can light these spikes on fire and get to it, I noticed that. Now that I think about it, I actually remember seeing like uh, a giant pink tree like that in the far distance at like episode 3 or 4, really early in the series. But that could be a promising sign. And now it is clear skies. So I can light this on fire and get to the shrine. <clears throat> so. Just a second. Mm, there we are. I drop that thing. Spark that. And then now... I seriously don't have anything wooden. Well, you guys don't really need to see this, so how about we just hop back into the time lapse? Okay, there is the tree in the distance thing, but there's like some sort of fog. Actually, no, that might be the start of the forest. Yeah, a bunch of like old trees and stuff. That could very well be the start of the forest. Doesn't seem like it will work to enter from here, there's steep cliffs. If this is the uh, one we're looking for... Oh boy, Blood Moon. It's not the fact of the monsters respawning, it's just, it's really creepy and I don't like it. Eh. Well, let's hop back into the time lapse. At least I can skip the Blood Moon cutscene.
right at the top of this tower here, which was quite a fight to get up, as you can see in the time lapse. But uh, this uh, is a uh, well, the uh, <clears throat> area we need to go. Well, the forest. Uh, Brain dot ex stopped working there, but the forest is in this section of the map. So, this should be a big help with finding where we enter it. Sheikah Tower activated. Pretty close to Hyrule Castle. Now we can also travel up here to this death trap. Scanning area. Bloop. And there we go. That is definitely where we need to go. Regional map extracted. Well, that is obviously the entrance with cliffs on all other sides to make it pretty hard to get in anywhere else. So that's obviously where we need to go. Oh, poop. Okay, I did not fall. And interestingly enough, this tower actually has like a part of one of the rock skull things that, uh... <clears throat> well, one of the rock skulls that Bokoblins and stuff will make their camps in. My horse. I do not want to forget my horse. Mm, Alright. He's over there. Okay, but now just a quick time lapse of getting over here. to the forest here, it looks like. Getting quite foggy. At least we were able to get horse out of the way. Hmm. Well, this will be quite a interesting thing to tackle in the next episode of Breath of the Wild. I'm gonna start trying to make the videos shorter, like, more 20 minutes or so. I think this has been around 40 minutes of recording, but with all the time lapses, it should be a lot shorter. But, uh, I'm only gonna know once I'm all done editing. So, I hope y'all had an absolutely fantastic day. This has been episode 16 in the Breath of the Wild series. We've gotten to the, uh, 
entrance of uh, the Great Hyrule Forest. So, see you in the next one. Bye!